Hello everyone and welcome to the 13th video in the series of videos that looks at completing the Level 2 Essential Skills Wales ICT qualification. Now, what you should have done now is created your first draft, obviously, and be ready to improve on the onto the final draft. So here we've got our draft presentation. As you can see, again, just to have a look, it's quite boring, quite dull. Okay, but the information in there is as I want it to be. So I've just got to make a few final improvements. So if I go to the final presentation, if you have a look at the difference here, okay, hold these side by side. So if you have a look at slide one, okay, you can see the difference here. I've used word art on my text. My navigation buttons have got a nicer feel to them, stick into the house style. So I've just applied a slightly different color border and filled the color obviously the border around the image and I've changed the font style to a slightly bolder bigger text. Then if I have a look at both of the second draft, uh, the second slides, here as you can see again it's mainly doing things like this, so in improving upon the way that the information stands out, you can see it's a lot more clear, the text is bigger um, and again with the borders around my um, images and with the word art there. Now, if you can see with my table, what I've actually done is I've underlined the text inside the table and I've added a thick border which sticks to the house style or theme of my presentation. And I've also, you can see the bullet points, I've actually changed those. They're, they're more customized because these are the standard bullet points. These are bullet points that I've had to go into the settings and actually change. And for my images, like this on slide 4. What I've done is I've actually applied a border to all of the images like this and it's got a dashed border and also I've rotated the images. So if I look on slide 5 and remember your presentation only really needs to contain five slides. I've also included a hyperlink to a website which I'll show you how to do just in case you didn't know. And slide 6 Okay, same thing again, it's just the borders around the image stick to the theme with the light blue and they're dashed again and I'll show you how to do that. And the main difference between my final slide where I've actually put the information taken from my spreadsheet is that I need to say the total cost. I've got to say to the person that I'm pitching the idea to, look, we can do this for £449. So I need to make that clear. So I've put a thick red border around that information too. So the first skill I'm going to show you in this particular video, if I go into my final draft, or sorry, I'll go into my first draft and I'll start making the changes. To change the border on an image, if I double click on the image and I'm going to apply a border, and remember I could apply any color border I want, that's entirely up to you. Okay, the color choice is up to you. And I'm going to add a blue one myself. Then I'm going to go into picture border and choose weight. So the weight of the line I'm going to have is as big as I can get on this particular set, this particular setting, which is six. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my font style. So I'm going to change this from Calibri, the standard size 18, and I'm going to change that to my favorite font, which is Berlin Sans FB Demi. But remember, it's important when you choose a font style that you actually make sure it's readable. So if I was to change this to one that I know is not very good, I'm going to go to black adder. There we are. That would be more difficult to read than the one that I previously had. It is readable, okay, but it's it's not as easy as reading this one here because it's clear, clear, bold, and obvious to see. So there we are, and there's my text and my image, and it already looks a bit better. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace this here. Okay, my title at the top, I'm going to use word art for that. So I'm going to choose a word art option. It doesn't really matter which one you choose as such because you can change the colors afterwards. So I'm going to choose this one here. And I'm just going to drag it up to, I've taken the image there. I'm just going to drag this text up to the top left corner where it was originally. And I'm going to call this kitchen upgrade. And again, what I can do with that now is I can actually change that to be, um, I can change that. So if I double click there, double click on the text or click on format, I can actually then 
uh, change the outline so the text outline I want to have is black and I want the outline then to change the weight not too thick because I want to be able to read it clearly yeah I'm gonna stick it as three so now it's clear and bold and obvious for the reader to see okay so there's my word art here now something you can do with word art just to show you obviously I can change that to have a fill color if I wanted I could do that to keep in with the theme or I could actually add a picture but this totally depends on what you want to do so say I chose a smiley face if I increase the size of this, I'm just going to delete this image for a moment so you can see. If I increase the size of this, go to the Home tab, increase the size. What I could also do then is, and this works better for some Im images than others, uh, change the format to change the shape outline a little bit thicker. Oh, that's the shape outline. That's the actual text box outline. I want the text outline to be a little bit thicker. Like that. So you can fill it with an image, but obviously some images work better than others. And then you can change the outline of that and you can increase the size. That's something you can do with Word Art, but I'm just going to undo that. Control and Z. And there we are, and back to how I want it. So that's how we add borders to our images. And remember, you could go through and do that for every single one. It doesn't take long. The settings tend to stay after you've used them once. So I can choose the blue color. And I just change the weight to 6. So again, that's the same. And if I want to change the size or the type of the font from Calibri, I can go into my recently used fonts and choose Berlin Sands. I can then increase the size of the font like that. Okay, and actually a good example of this, I can see this is left aligned at the moment. If I choose center aligned up here in these options, center align, it looks a little bit better as it looks a little bit more central. And again, what I could do then is on each slide, I could delete the current text that I've got and just go back to the first slide where I applied word art, copy it and paste it. Okay, and that's that's one way that you can actually improve it by changing the font style, the um, images by adding a border to them, and your word art so that it looks a lot more clear.